Asher and Gat channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. We're so happy to be back once more and we're happy to tell you that property, the building is going on very well and we're so excited. Yeah. We've got to the sta certain stage of um, doing the septic tank yeah. or the bad digester. Oh, yeah. So you find out what we did at the end of the video. Yes. So today we'll talk about the septic tank and the bad digester, the pros and cons, mm -hmm. so you know what it's all about in yeah. case you decide to do either of them. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And um, honestly, I want to thank you so much. We both really want oh, to yes. thank you so much for yes. watching the videos. We see that you, you guys are watching and, the and you like the comments. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, yeah. you know, you, thank you for thank engaging you. us. Exactly, you know, we're yeah. so really excited and we're really um, grateful and thankful. Exactly. And if this is your first time of coming across this channel and you're enjoying this video, could you please like, share, subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever we post our video. We've got very exciting videos for you regarding how to build a building, how to build a property in Ghana. Yes. Kingsley? Yes, thank you very much. Thanks, thanks, Chris. Yeah, so as um, as my wife said, today is all about septic tanks and biodigesters. Yes, um, they are all very, very necessary. We have to um, find a way to dispose of our waste in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, what is a septic tank? A septic tank, in simple terms, is an underground chamber, typically made of reinforced concrete, okay? And it's where our domestic waste water flows. And that is basically, you know, when you use, when you use the bathroom... We know. <laughs> yeah, they, you know, <laughs> bathroom, kitchen sink... <laughs> Uh, basin and um, yeah, the one we know, we know. Ex exactly yeah. that one. <laughs> all that, all that is the is the waste water from the house. Mm -hmm. And when we use all that, it flows into either a septic tank or a biodigester, depending on what you are using. Okay, it flows into there, and then there are there is some bacterial action that that occurs, which reduces the the solids, if you like, or to um, to gas and sludge. Okay, into which is further organic material, and uh, basically, in a nutshell, the septic tank is your own personal on site sewage facility. Mm. That's what it is. That's what it is. So, how does it work? Okay, how does the septic tank work? I've got a diagram on your screen right now, and um, that is a diagram of a typical septic tank. And you can have a septic tank that's just one chamber two three four five chambers but I would recommend that the minimum you should go for is a three chamber septic tank okay now that will become clearer and clearer as I uh, explain how it works so you can see on your diagram you have a pipe coming in on one side and that pipe is the inflow to the tank coming from the house coming from all the waste items I mentioned earlier on the toilets and everything else so that flows into the first chamber so to speak now the the heavy solids if you like you know the, the, the human waste let's say that because that's as heavy it falls to the to the to the bottom of of of, of the water falls to the bottom of the water and then you get the grease because obviously when you wash when you wash uh stuff in the in the kitchen and you know we cook with oil and all that all that goes into the water so grease you know oil is lighter than water so the oil yeah. is always on top so the oil and the grease and, or they call it the scum in the diagram that settles at the top okay because it's lighter grease is lighter it's all at the top and then it moves into the second chamber as it moves into the second chamber you get more if you like filtering if you like so you get less grease going to the second chamber and less of the heavy solids to the second chamber and then in the final chamber you can see in the diagram that the water is is much clearer than the first chamber so as it goes moves from one chamber to the next and to the last one the water becomes even more clear mm -hmm. And what happens is that clear water, which is still waste water, it goes through a pipe and it goes into what we call the silkaway. Oh. You've heard of silk silkaway, haven't you, before? Yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't? Who hasn't, exactly. <laughs> so that it goes into what, what, what they call the silkaway or the soil absorption field, if you like. You know, in, Ga in Ghana they call it silkaway and uh, it soaks away because it, it drains through the, the foundation right down to the to the water table so i'm showing you pictures right now of um our septic tank in construction you can see the three chambers that i talked about um the septic tank itself is a very solid construction 
it's it's a bit like it's it's a room, you know. It's about ours is about ten foot deep, so that's yeah, so about okay. three me three meters deep. Mm -hmm. You have a, a, a concrete foundation. You have block blockwork walls. They put the formwork just like they did in the building yeah. with the with the, with the iron rods. The carpenter came mm -hmm. along and they poured concrete all to to to, to get the top all solid. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 in 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 a sense it's a room, and you, you don't want to fall into it. Nope. <laughs> You don't want to fall in, fall into it during construction, and you definitely don't want to fall into it <laughs> after construction. After construction, <laughs> either, either, exactly, exactly. So you can see in this next diagram. So from the, from the circle way I just explained, the 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 water that goes into the soil, okay, it 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 gets filtered through the soil. If you like, purified through the soil, it goes down through the soil through the many depths of the soil, all the way down until the water table. Now that water table can be 80 to 90 feet below the ground, which is about 27 to 30 meters. Our water table in the area that we're purchasing is about 90 feet below the ground. Mm. That's about 30 meters. Okay, so it's a long, 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 long way down. So now think about this. If you have a, a borehole, okay, your borehole, which we, and we will have a borehole, will be pumping water from about 30, 30 meters below the surface, pumping that same water back up again, okay, that water will go through a filtration system, okay, the, the, the water in, in Accra is, or especially in that area, is quite salty, so it will go through what we call a... It's quite salty, is that what you said? Yeah, salty, yeah, you salty, said. yeah. So to go through a, a reverse osmosis plant to get rid of the salt, mm -hmm. okay, so that water that's coming up is now, you now use that water from the borehole to flush your toilets, mm. okay, and to irrigate the plants, mm. to, 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 to irrigate the plants, because the water that comes out of the, the last chamber of the septic tank and goes through the ground and come up again is full of, is rich in nitrogen, which is very, very good for the plants. Yeah. Okay, so it's nice, a nice sort of sustainable uh, cycle, if you like, mm -hmm. okay. You have a borehole, you're, you're not depending on the authorities for, for that water, and you're using your waste water back again to water your plants and to flush your toilets over again. So that is nice and sustainable and uh, energy efficient. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I feel great. Yeah, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. So it's really talking about the plants. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but don't, yeah, don't forget the water is is when it comes up, it's full of nitrogen. It's actually good for the plants. So yeah. uh, you, you know, don't think of it in terms of you know <laughs> waste waste water coming in. Yeah. It's, it's no, filtered here. I try not to. <laughs> Because <laughs> he went straight into my head, like okay. <laughs> exactly yeah. that. Exactly that. Yeah. But guys, I'm sure you thought of it that like that. Initially, yeah. initially, initially, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but I mean, it, it's 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 a long way down in the soil. There's a lot of filtration back up again. There's another filtration after the borehole and reverse osmosis before it gets to the plants. And yeah, yeah it's, it's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. It's good for them. Rich, rich in nitrogen. Anyway, anyway, we will have a separate video that will cover the borehole. Uh, separately, borehole independently, and uh, you know, you know all about borehole. Your mum did her, uh, yeah, her, her own borehole. Did. Yeah, I wasn't young. there, but I don't know the process. So. The process. Oh well, yeah. that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna know all about boreholes in another video. So one other tip, guys, when you're doing the septic tank, it's very important. Well, depending on where it is in your house, that the top surface is concrete, and you make it heavy duty because. If you have a cargo over it or a lorry over it, the last thing you want is the load of the car or the lorry to break, to break the um, the, the, you know the, the top of the of the septic tank unless it will break right into mm. it and splash, splash the gunge all over the place. Okay, so you want to have a heavy duty cover. So that's something to ask questions and to of your builder just to make sure they're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure builders know what they're doing, but again, it's good to ask the question to keep them on their toes. And um, there you go. That's, so that's septic tank. We now move on to biodigesters, which is a um, another type of, of on-site sewage facility. Okay, but this is a bit more modern. A bit more we use a bit more modern technology, and uh, I'll pass to Crystal right now, who's going to go through the the pros or the advantages of biodigester system. So there you go. Yeah, I like the biodigester system. Yeah. It's what we talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, something I really wanted to do. Yeah, me but, too. Me too. I realized that we couldn't um, put the toilet tissues in there. No, actually, that you, you can do actually now. You can do. You can do. I found that you can because it that it's um it's it's organic. It's, it's organic material. T yeah. Toilet tissues from paper and yeah. it, so you can you can do that. It was really? more yeah. It was more about um 
it being um, fairly new in Ghana, yeah. 18 to 24 months, and, and we, we didn't get enough confidence from confidence. The, the specialist who came. Yeah, yeah, mm. exactly. Yeah. I didn't like it because when Kingsley and I talked about it, I looked at the advantages. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I liked about it is because um, it's cheaper and quicker to construct, mm -hmm. unlike this one that we did. Yeah, took exactly. Quite a lot of time yeah. to do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. Um, when you're far away, you just want something done, done quickly. And we also were, uh, you know, that time constraint as well. So exactly. we wanted things to be done. Exactly. Yeah, yeah quickly. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And also, um, it could take two days or even less, you know. Could just do it constructed in the day. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, compared you can, to exactly yeah. the the you're right. Actually, the biodigester you can actually do it in one day. It's, but that in order to do it one day, you have to have what we call prefabricated slabs. So it's where you know you you have to construct a it's like a rectangle. You can see it in, in, in the images. If you can buy the the, the walls, mm. you can buy the, the the ground, you can buy the the cover, yeah. you can buy pre-made concrete, yeah. deliver it to site and just put it in place. Yeah. If you buy prefabricated concrete slabs, mm. then you can build your biodigester in simply one day. Wow. Really, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I did like that. That's mm. quite nice. It's very good. And also, it requires less space yep. compared to the septic tank. You know, we dug mm. up to seven feet. Deep, isn't it? Ten feet. Sorry, ten feet deep, isn't yeah, it? Very, deep. very deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, yeah, when well, you don't need that much space when you're doing the, the biodigester. Bio yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. we want to. For me, I just want to use all the space for for my garden and all that yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to use all that space for um, septic tank. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then another thing that is pretty odorless. Which I quite like when it's cool, yeah, exactly. yeah, to to the other one because mm. if you've known or if you've used a septic tank and then um, it's full, oh my god, the smell is something else. You don't want to be there. Mm. You know, mm. things up the whole place. Whereas yeah. that one is um good. You don't get to have that smell. Yeah, exactly. That order but, around. but the septic tank, yeah, you can. There are there are ways around it. You can put a filter in mm. as well, and. Um, so we're going to put a filter in as well and obviously depending on the size of your home you get used to um, the frequency with which you need to um, empty the septic tank yeah thank you for that yeah and also with the biodigester you don't have to do that physical dislodging thing yeah, exactly, that you yeah. will have to do with the septic tank yes when it's full you have to get like Kinsley just talked about mm -hmm. yeah yeah and the reason is there because with the biodigester they um they add some 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 extra organic material into the biodigester, which helps to uh, helps the decomposition, if you like, of uh, you know the, the the waste substances, and as such, you don't have to um, physically dis dis dislodge it. Yeah, and for people that love the environment, the biodigester is environmental friendly. Yeah. 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 I exactly. do like that. Yeah. yeah. That that to be fair, that was our number one choice. Yeah. You know, the biodigester. You, you sound disappointed. No, it's Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I wanted it as That's well. Fine. I, I wanted it as well. I'm I wanted happy it. with what we have. Yeah, I wanted it as well. But it, all is not lost, you know. That's so. Those are the advantages of the biodigester. Um, quite a few advantages. Um, the the what I'll say is a, it's a disadvantage. It's not really a disadvantage. Uh, people like to sell the biodigester as something that's going to produce you gas. Yeah, produce you gas to that you can now use back into your home for for cooking. While that is true. You need an awful, significant amount of waste in order to get enough gas to make it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. uh, statistics tells us that um, a biodigester typically produces 25.5 grams of methane gas per user per day, and that's not even enough to heat up one meal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you have a family of four, and you want to feed that family of four three square meals a day, you will need the equivalent of five liters of cow manure or cow dung every day in order to get five liters of cow manure or cow dung every day you need eight fully grown adult cows to give you that five liters a day then you generate enough gas to do all your cooking okay which is which would be lovely but that's a commercial level uh, unless you have a farm nearby or you own a farm or or what have you then it's, it's not practical for residential use mm. that's 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 the that's the only thing so don't be don't be conned into thinking that you're getting a biodigester because 
you're going to get gas out of it for your for your for your cooking. <laughs> it's not necessarily the case. Yeah. yeah. But no, you can do, but yeah, based yeah. on what you've explained. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you can do, but yes, okay, you, you, know, you can do if you got if you got the uh, manure yeah, power. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can do. Um, so really, we really, really wanted to go for the biodigester, but we looked at two companies, brought them over, asked a number of challenging questions, and really, mm. we weren't, we weren't, we weren't really confident. We were a bit disappointed with, with the responses, and we felt that they couldn't really deliver to our expectations. Mm. So because of that, we just unfortunately decided to settle for what is a tried and tested method that has been around for. Decades and decades. Did you say unfortunately now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only, on, on, on. I think it's okay. No, it's good. It's unfortunate from the point of view that the, the guys who came around, they didn't really inspire confidence. Yeah. Yes, that from that point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also, so we've gone for the septic tank. It's a tried and tested method, although more expensive, takes longer to construct. We feel comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay. And one one good thing about the land where we live is, mm -hmm. uh, it's quite it's quite dry. It's quite rocky. Mm -hmm. So when when it rains, it's not it's definitely it's not a waterlogged area. Mm -hmm. The rain drains into the soil very mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the soak away is gonna work perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's gonna work perfectly. And um, so that's another thing, guys. Consider the soil type as well in in, in your area as you are, you are making the decision between biodigester or the um, septic tank. You know, but what perhaps in the future, and I, I looked into this, we will probably consider as more and more biodigesters get used in Ghana and more and more the expertise improves, we will consider definitely consider converting the septic tank. Yeah, later is on. it not gonna be too much um, of a problem to do that? Uh, I've, I've, I've done a little bit of research to know that it's possible. I haven't gone into the detail. Mm. And they, they say the devil is in the detail, so mm. it depends on what that detail is. Mm. You know, if that detail means it's not feasible, then then so be it. But I'm hoping that it will be feasible to be able to convert the septic tank to a, a biodigester later on, and then hopefully be able to produce that uh, that greater volume of gas. Mm. You know, that we can use back in back in our home. That'd be great. But from what you said, it will need a lot of people putting something in there yeah. to be able to generate that. Yeah. Maybe if yeah. we build a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you build a hotel yeah maybe if you build a hotel yeah that that that, that is that is true you're absolutely right you know so um yeah. you know it's it's good it's good stuff i mean we, we have to innovate mm -hmm. back, back in the land we have to innovate and and then you know we've got a lot of land around us and we have to do things that are self-sustaining mm. and, and and independent from the authorities yeah you know that's that's what that's what we we like yeah. anyway that's yeah, true you know mm. so that if the authorities decide to um be naughty we uh it doesn't affect us so to speak yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean so mm -hmm. i think um that that's it really for for this for this episode of uh of the uh, cost of building in ghana you know septic tank versus biodigester mm -hmm. unless you have anything else to add no i don't really i'm looking forward to the finishing <laughs> i'm like i can't wait to go home and live in my beautiful building yeah fantastic well in that case guys uh as usual, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button as you can see on your screen so that you will always be notified when Asher and Gar bring out yet another exciting video on constructing.